excited to do this right now. I'm trying something different today. Thought it would be fun to do something live on a Monday evening and wind down together, wash the day off literally. So I am gonna be washing my face, hence the bowl in front of me. I pulled on Instagram stories asking if anyone else had started to forget to take care of themselves um, cause they were just like on the grind, you know, whether it's the mom hustle, the work hustle, the relationship hustle, whatever it is, 97 or 98% <laughs> said yes, they were in it as well. Um, which is an astounding number to me to think that we're just all unified in the season of life that we're in. And so I just wanted to touch on some of that because today, you know, it's Monday. I had a case of the Mondays where you just feel like, okay, it's time to go. You know, I gotta, I gotta get this done, whatever it is, you know, whatever the week ahead holds. And, and I was feeling overwhelmed. And I called my mom, I called her to just vent and she gave me some pretty incredible advice that I wanted to share with you. This is the pre-cleanse. This is like the OG kind of oil cleanser. Um, it really helps you get all of the crap off of your face, all of the makeup, it melts everything down. For me right now in this season, always boils back down to this work life balance struggle it's a lot of responsibilities and for a lot of us with kids childcare went out the window this year which also spices things up quite a bit i'm tired and just needing a little bit of a break i guess but the break isn't necessarily going to come the break i feel like has to almost come internally. She said to me words that I actually said in one of my Monday videos a few weeks ago. She was like, you need to give yourself permission. Now, when I was talking about that, I was talking about a different subject. I was talking about giving yourself permission to change your mind. But she was like, you need to give yourself permission to rest. And I don't mean like lie down and have a nap or whatever, but just mentally rest, let go of the future, let go of worries and concerns for a moment, you know, just let yourself be in whatever it is that you're feeling. And that really resonated with me. I'm moving on by the way to um, this daily microfoliant. It comes out like a, a powder and then you just wet it or make sure that your hands are really wet when you're, you're putting it into your palm of your hand. It does not irritate my skin at all. And it honestly feels incredible. And my skin just feels smooth all the time. I'm very excited that I have like an exfoliant that does not damage my skin in any way. It actually just makes it feel baby freaking soft. My mom was just telling me like, let yourself be still, which is, to me, feels super counterintuitive, super counterproductive, because when I think about wanting to feel better or not feeling great, to me, like the solution to that is being proactive. And when you're proactive, it often requires you to do more. When I think of doing more, I think of like self-care or um, helping others or all of these things that I just pack into my daily existence that honestly help me to hit that kind of overwhelm period and that point of exhaustion, which is what I'm trying to kind of combat here. So um, it was really incredible advice. And then simultaneously, I'm gonna move on to the ultra calming cleanser. You know, I love a triple cleanse situation, but simultaneously, um, as I was you know, having this conversation with my mom this morning, I saw a quote, I think, Emma Roberts posted it on her stories. My friend Cambria reposted it and um, it was really echoing the same thing. It was like a quote about letting yourself be still and just embrace the stillness. And whether that is just like sitting in a room and watching the sun go up or down, you know, when I was talking to my mom, she was like, just, you know, read Bowie a book and just like watch her reactions. Like those little present moments bring you back to this place of calm. And it is what it is. Like wherever I am right now is okay. It's so, so important. I'm swapping to serums now. Anything ultra calming, I'm happy. This is good stuff, don't need too much of it. And then I also add this and it's just like a nice oily texture. 
mix those two together. Glistening, oh my gosh, I'm so hydrated right now. This feels so good. If you're in this season right now and you need that friendly reminder to not just take care of yourself, but just be still. Be wherever you are, wherever you are right now in your life, that is a-okay. Even if it doesn't feel okay, it's okay to not be okay. And then when you're ready, only when you're ready, to you know, start doing those proactive things, habits and routines are gonna be your best friend. I'm telling you that right now, like skincare, for example, right? This is something that I completely let slide out of my day-to-day -day in this moving process because I packed up my life and I was like, you know, trying to look after Bowie while packing up the whole house because Josh was working. I'm gonna just pin my um, eye cream that I'm using. It's the age reversal. I'm 31, you know what I mean? It's real, like it's happening now. This isn't even, you know, yeah, okay, prevention a little bit, but also just dealing with it. The place that I notice fine lines the most on my face is around my eyes, which I think is a good sign because I think that means that I like smile a lot and whatever, you can see them all right there. But yeah, habits and routines, man. I read a book called Atabic, Atomic, sorry, Atomic Habits um, a few months ago and it was game changing. Okay, and then I think the last thing, oh my gosh, I'm already on the last step. This stuff is amazing. It's pretty heavy duty. It's a night cream for sure. Wouldn't recommend it during the day. The easiest way I find to like form new habits and stick to them, like for example, my skincare routine is I was trying to get that back, implement that back into my day to day is like associating it with either a uh, reward or something else that you know you're gonna do. So for example, if you're wanting to take like vitamins or supplements in the morning, which you know I do, I keep it right beside my coffee machine. So I like can't forget that it's there and I can't forget that that's what I need to do. And for skincare, it's like, obviously I'm gonna brush my teeth. So yeah, that's a good time for your skincare routine. But I like will not let myself go into bed. And at nighttime, I'm very sleepy. I wanna go to bed. And I won't let myself do that until my skincare routine is done. To quote like Rachel Hollis's book, like girl. <laughs> so important to wash your face and just reset at the end of the day. Whatever the day is throwing at you, um, it's important to just start over and go to sleep feeling like cool, calm, collected, and ready for whatever tomorrow's gonna bring. Give yourself that blank canvas and treat yourself because it takes 10, 15 minutes, but it, it really makes such a big difference in how you feel when you are nurturing yourself and finding that time. If this is something that you wanna see me do more regularly, let me know because I think it would be really fun. I enjoyed it. I had a good time just chatting and um, winding down with you all and kind of like washing the day away with you guys. So I, I so appreciate you and I hope you have a great rest of your evening and yeah, hopefully I will see you very soon.